Hello and welcome back to Office Hours, or if you're coming here for the first time, welcome to Office Hours. I'm Greg Yatman from Salona. Uh, I'm joined by Memo Yavuz. Hi, everyone. He is our CTO and co-founder. Uh, we talk about all sorts of stuff here, 5G, 4G LTE, CBRS. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about something a little bit different, um, something that we talked about on our recent webinar uh, with IB Wave and CTS. Uh, check that out in our resources page. But it's uh, small sales, DAS, and CBRS networks. Uh, what are they, and why do we need to know the difference between them? Um, so, Mehmet, if you wouldn't mind kind of clearing that up for me. Sure. Hi, everyone, again. Yeah, uh, Greg, basically... For cellular networks, right? Mobile network operators have been deploying these base stations uh, on big towers with big antennas to basically cover outdoor wide area networks. But we all know that indoor coverage inside the buildings, inside the enterprises have been an issue. And guess what? It will get even worse with 5G. Because first of all, 5G is using higher bands, mid band and uh, higher bands, even millimeter wave bands, which makes it even harder for the signal to penetrate inside the buildings. And secondly, more and more buildings are now more environmental friendly. They use low emission glass windows, and that makes the signal penetration, cellular signal penetration, even harder. So for that, there are some solutions out there. The first one is so-called DAS, which is a which is a distributed antenna systems. And in DAS systems, basically, typically a mobile network operator brings their base station or uh, so-called baseband equipment, and they put it in a basement of a building, and they run cables uh, from that uh, equipment all the way to the antennas inside the venue or the enterprise. This is usually very costly because it requires dedicated cabling and uh, a lot of installation costs. And you may also get coverage with that kind of technology, but not necessarily uh, much capacity because the whole capacity is shared amongst everyone inside that venue or building. And lastly, the enterprise IT doesn't get much visibility to the performance or the usage of the network. This is a totally separate installation done uh, for the cellular coverage only, which is totally controlled by the mobile network operator. So the next level uh, that provides not only coverage, but also capacity is for each mobile network operator to come in and install their own small base stations or small cells inside the building. And this solution provides uh, increased capacity because each small cell base station uh, provides capacity, but Again, these are still deployed as separate network with separate backhaul, and they don't typically use the existing internet cabling inside the enterprise, and that adds to the cost, and still no visibility or control of this network for the IT department. And besides, each operator needs to come in and deploy their own small cells. So that's why it's not... Uh, very practical, it doesn't uh, scale much. That's why you don't see it in most of the enterprises. But the third one, the exciting one, is really the CBRS LTE and 5G, where basically with the availability of the CBRS band, now enterprises have the option to deploy their own network using their own uh, existing infrastructure, just putting in uh, CBRS, LTE, APs, or small cells, or uh, as it evolves to 5G, 5G APs, and then this becomes their uh, part of their network in addition to the Wi-Fi network. And this CBRS, LTE, 5G networks can serve all the enterprise-owned devices, but also uh, other cellular devices that come inside the facility, which we call neutral hosts, that we talked about in a previous video. So I hope that that helps to answer the question. Yeah, I think it does. I think that although there are three options, you have your DAS, you have your small cell, and you have your CBRS network, the one that seems to be providing the most upside for um, scalability, also maybe cost uh, effectiveness, and of course for Solona, utilization of our technology is the CBRS networks. And um, I think that looks like the future for us. You, you definitely got it. And there are more examples of CBRS type networks happening uh, globally as well in many other countries. Maybe that's a good topic for another discussion. 
Fantastic. The international expansion of CBRS. I like that. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you, Mehmet, for your time. And hopefully, uh, folks, you're clearer about DAS, small cell, and CBRS networks. Be sure to come back soon. Check in on new Office Hours uh, videos. Like, subscribe, and go to our resources page at salona.io. We've got plenty of stuff there, too. Thank you, and we'll see you soon.